وقاف In this video, I want to show you guys how I upgraded the fan cooler of my PSU to this RGB fan cooler. All that coming right up. All right, so what we're going to be doing is adding an RGB fan to this PSU. This PSU already has a fan, but what I want is for it to have an RGB fan. So I'm going to basically kind of mod it so that we can install this RGB fan where this fan is. And in order to do that, we need to open it up and then change out the fan inside and install this fan into the PSU. In order to get started, we need to open it up. So we will uh, take apart all the screws Okay, there's a total of six screws and then we were able to open up this PSU. There's our six screws there and now you simply just lift it and voila. That's it. I can see that the fan is a 14 centimeter fan. That's why I have a 14 centimeter RGB fan here which I'm going to use to replace this fan here. We need to remove this power cable we need to solder this power cable onto this rgb fan power cable we need to unplug it and then we need to remove this fan and install this onto here we need to ensure that the fan spins the same way now that we have taken off this case we need to disassemble this fan and also unplug it so that we can start to install this into this psu case so i'll just remove these here so i can remove this piece we will now unplug this. This just unplugs here. So there, it was just a little plug there. You just have to pry it and the plug comes right out. With this removed, we can now remove the fan from the PSU. We'll just undo these screws here. Typical fan mounting screws. Now the fan will simply drop out. There we go. Now I'm going to cut the power plug off the old fan and then install it onto the RGB fan. That way we can solder it to our RGB fan power cables. So I'm just going to cut it here. I have a little bit of length to play with. There we go. And now we can put this away. We don't need that anymore. We are simply going to solder this to our new fan. We have to cut this off as well. Just two cables, it's pretty simple really. Okay, I'll just cut it here. There we go. And now we're going to strip these wires and connect them back up to this. Doing that will allow us to still use the same plug and plug it back into the power source. I'm going to strip these cables and then solder them back together. Okay, here we go. Okay, well now we'll just test them. There we go. Just testing it to make sure that it works. There we have it. So we know that positive is the one with the line. So that is our, our red cable and negative is the other. Put our positive to positive, negative to negative. But before we do that, we need some heat shrink. Once we put it on, we can cover it with some heat shrink. Here we have some heat shrink. We're just going to cut that in half so we have enough to cover both sides. And then we'll put that in here ready to cover the cable once we solder it together. Always put, your, put on your heat shrink first. We can simply twist on our cables. And we'll just wrap it together. Okay. That's our positive. We will solder that together first. Rest it up here, like so. Grab our soldering iron, tin it a little bit. There we go. And now we'll just add solder to our wire. Nice and easy. It's one. Okay, that one's done. So we can put our heat shrink over it. Apply heat to the heat shrink. So it uh, shrinks. 
and covers the cable. Now we will connect our other cable, solder this cable, and we'll just add it on. Now we can cover it, apply some heat to the heat shrink. Beautiful, that's it. With that done, let's just put it in and test it. Plug that back in. I'll now get my testing plug. And we're just going to test and make sure that the fan works once we plug everything in together. Put the power in. This will take our ATX cable. It will power up the device. Everything will work. And that is our fan working as it should. Okay, now we know that that works, we can uh, put it back together. We will now reinstall it in here. It is a little bit dirty. So we're just going to give it a quick clean. I'm going to put down a little towel here. I am going to clean this first. So I'm going to get my contact cleaner and I'm just going to spray this. It's going to wipe it. We'll clean the, this side of it. Give it a nice wipe. Reassemble it. So this sat on like this. Okay, so it's a little bit dirty on this side, so we're going to clean this whole thing. Okay, we're going to clean it all. Okay, and this is going to flip over this way, so this will have to install like so. And we'll put one screw in to hold it back. Okay, so that's how it's going to sit back on, just like it was before. Perfect. It is a little bit dirty in here. There's a lot of dust and dirt debris in there, so I'm just going to give it a real quick clean. Using a contact cleaner, we'll use a little brush as well, and uh, we'll clean it and brush it all. Clean everything out. This is contact cleaner guys, so it is actually very safe to clean electrical components with. We've given that a good clean now. It looks pretty good. Just give it a brush, get all that extra dust off everywhere else. So now that I have it completely clean, I'm just going to blow out the excess dust. I'm just going to use this little blower here. It's really used for cleaning keyboards, but it will definitely do the job. It looks pretty clean now. Test it one more time after cleaning it and make sure we didn't damage anything. See how that looks. And there you have it. Look at that. It looks pretty good, I reckon. And it's just to give it that little bit of RGB look so it looks a little bit cooler rather than it being so plain. Okay, so now that we know that it works, we just put it all back together. And we'll reinstall this. To reinstall this, it's very simple. Now, we just want to make sure that we tuck this cable in. That way, it doesn't um, interfere when we reinstall it. We'll just push this back over the top, like so. Screw in back all our screws, and we are pretty much done. Line up our screw holes. Put back in our screws. Nice and snug. One on the side here, and one more on this side right here. Done. All right, and there we have it, guys. 
just to you know bring out a little bit of life into the uh, power source just makes it look that much better and it's a little bit prettier okay, that is the Allzai A14 it's a pretty cool fan it was very cheap okay and well there you have it guys removing the old 14 centimeter fan out of the power supply and adding a new RGB fan into the power supply so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time this is Mike with Mikey's vlogs signing off see you in the next one